that the dust has settled, are there yeah. any steps the administration is going to take going forward with respect to the vaccine mandate? And have you found that it was a success? And then one more update on yesterday. Are you guys still making calls this weekend on voting rights? It seems that Manchin and Cinema, even after coming to the White House, there's no hint that they're going to change their positions. So, I mean, what are the next few days look like before that vote? Well, I would say that um, the president's view, as you heard him say yesterday, is that we're going to continue to press to get this done moving forward. Uh, and that means continuing to engage with a range of officials uh, who are supportive, some who have questions, and some who are skeptical. He obviously met with uh, Senator Sinema yesterday afternoon, even after she uh, made a public speech uh, about, um, about her opposition to the filibuster. I think that's evidence of his continued commitment to keep engaging. Um, as it relates to the vaccine requirements and, and what's next, uh, as the President said yesterday, the Supreme Court has chosen to block common sense life-saving requirements for employees. Uh, we're, of course, immensely disappointed by that decision. It's now up to the states and individual employers to put in va place vaccination requirements. Here are some pieces of good news, and this is a little updated from yesterday. Uh, businesses and other employers have already taken these steps. Nearly 40 percent of Fortune 100 companies have vaccine requirements. Uh, in October, prior to the OSHA rule even coming out, a quarter of workers in the country were already subject to a requirement from their employer. By January, that number had risen to nearly 60 percent of, employ of employers requiring or planning to require vaccines. And since the administration began implementing requirements in July, we've gotten from 90 million to 30 million Americans unvaccinated. More work to be done, no question. It was good news that the CMS requirement for healthcare workers was kept in place. That will impact 10 to 11 million. And there are a number of companies across the country that are good models. We're going to continue to echo those. Okay. I don't want you to be